We all know your language. We all know your human tribe. Don't fucking talk shit. You think, we all know if you pull down those pants, you lean forward like, that's right, I'm king of the world in this bitch. That's how I keep from falling over. Exactly. Explains a lot. That explains a lot, actually. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so fat? Um, I'm Italian and I love pasta. Good explanation. These are the groupies. <laughs> Get a shot of the groupies. Get a shot of the groupies. Shut up, Peter Sweat. Woo! And that stay. That stay. I can get a treat stay. Smack the other. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Still a bitch. Anywho, buddy. What's up? This is Mr. Smiles here from JSC Media. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I have the pleasure to meet the one and only Crisis Child. Introduce yourself, man. Crisis Child, aka Chris. All right, that was cool. You said that backwards. So what you been up to lately? I was kind of down and out for a little while. I, I had to take a little bit of a hiatus. Had some shit happen, and now I'm back. Been doing a lot of writing, a lot of new material coming. CDs coming out at the end of the year. I got my merchandise ordered, so new t-shirts and bandanas nice. and hats and nice bro. buttons. Do you have any surprises in store for the near future? You know, I have a new DJ coming in to, to help me out. Um, it'll make the performance a lot better. Mm -hmm. It'll run smoother. Um, that way my tracks aren't boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. um, I, can get, I can get a chance to actually breathe in between my songs. I'm adding a, well in the hip hop world, referred to as hype men. Um, I'm adding something kind of like that. Uh, he's a good friend of mine named uh, Cletus. Got a lot of the new stuff I'm adding to my stage presence, mm -hmm. and, you know, lights. And... How long have you officially been around? <laughs> I was in a band, uh, I'm not going to mention the name, um, for 10 uh, <laughs> ish years. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that kind of went in the toilet. I started uh, Crisis Child, which is you know my solo gig. Shit, I've been doing Crisis Child for about two and a half years now. Really? Yeah. I thought it was a little longer than that. Oh no, I have, I have no three years now. Just to let people know, what do you classify your music as? Experimental, industrial, metal, hip hop, fucking bullshit. I like to call it toilet music. It's fun, fun, to, it's fun to listen to. Uh, I think we need to make a wiki page on that. Inspiration, this guy right here. Alright, <laughs> everyone keep check on that, alright? Stay tuned. Um, we were talking about that long ago. The last time I hung out with you, you wanted to make it music. I do. Uh, how's it? How's it going? Um, it's been it's been put on hold. I have some non-music related life stuff that oh, yeah. I have to get taken care of. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everybody does. Yeah. But uh, no, that'll be coming soon. In fact, it's a there's, there's three videos coming. They kind of a three part storyline basically. You'll see that hopefully by oh, the end of the year. It's hopefully going to come out right around the same time my CD does. So do you have a rough date on when the CD might come out? End of the year. End of the year? Just pretty much end of the general, year. general end of the year? <laughs> okay. It'll hopefully be done between the end of November, early December. All right, sweet. Let's keep you on your toes, people. Keep what, would be the, what would be your dream touring uh, bands to work with? I prefer a song. I would love to tour with, uh, just because I've had good friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to tour with Corpse. Him and I just, uh, our shit meshes so well together. I mean, I've, I've gone on the road with him a couple of times. Uh, of the this crazy bitch's band um, would be fun too. I get along great with her. That's my little baby sister. That's my big little brother. <laughs> uh, Ghost in the Melody, look him up. Uh, you have a page, right? Ghost in the Melody, look him up. They're awesome. When I, when I tour, I, I, it has to be with people that, uh, it has to be with people that I, I can be with in a car for multiple periods of time without you know, wanting to jump out of the car and tuck and roll. 
Because, uh, I mean, I've, I've gone on the road with people who we weren't even out of the state, and I already wanted to kill them. You talked about some of your songs being very uh, personal, mm -hmm. and there's one in particular I want to mention about you said it was about your son. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might talk about that. Mm -hmm. The song is called Suicide Note. Back in 2012, I was alone with my daughter and my son at home. The long story short, he, he, he fell asleep and never woke up. And while giving him a respiration like CPR, I basically I basically watched my, my son die in front of him. And um, that's what the song, the song's about bad, uh, dealing with that, trying to cope with it, as well as uh, during, the, during that time, I also had kind of a bad drug addiction. You know, my, my beef with uh, yours truly up there. It's pretty much what it's about. I'm basically just, I'm, 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 mad, I'm mad at God. If, I mean, I'm not saying I believe or don't believe. Um, Hey, no. And, then I, and, I, don't judge you know, and I'm not judging anyone else's beliefs, but that's that's just really what it's about. That's why I say, hey, has anyone ever dealt with loss? I mean, it's about loss. It's about struggle. It's about dealing with inner demons. You know, that devil. You know. Uh, so yeah. All right. Well, you know what, man? It's a really good song. I appreciate you. Okay. What made you want to start writing music? <laughs> I've been doing music. I've been playing music since I was a child. What got me wanting to perform is I just like to entertain, I like to have fun. Um, everybody that, doesn't matter if you're a guitarist, a, a, a trumpet player, a singer, whatever, it's fun being up there, it's a whole different world. It's, 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 it's euphoric, you know? It allows you to, uh, to, to really just get out all that fucking bullshit from, you know, the week prior, you know? Gives you a chance to, 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 to get out your, like I was saying, inner demons. It gives you a chance, it gives me a chance to, to, to really vet and, and, and deal with my, my crap, um, you know, in a different way uh, than, you know, it's be, I mean, it's, it, it's better to write down your, your, your bullshit than stick a needle in your head, you know? Um, and, and, uh, it's a way to vent. Yeah, it really is. A way to express yourself. It's all what music is, right? Expression. Exactly. It's, it's yeah. exactly what it is. What is your main inspiration for your music? Just raw motion, day-to-day -day stuff. Like, 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 every single song I write, it, it has to do with a situation or, like, like I told you about the devil inside. I have another song that's called You Shouldn't Have. That song is another song about one of my kids. As you can tell, I'm a little person. My daughter's a little person. There was a guy who uh, thought he was being funny, and just to get to me, he was saying some really cruel things about my daughter. She wasn't even a year old. You know, who, who picks on a, a nine-month-old baby? Regardless of, regardless of it. Exactly. I don't pass judgment on anybody, especially for something they can't help. You know? Like, if I'm gonna pass judgment, it's gonna be about who you are and how you act and, and what you you know, and how you carry yourself, or, or, or if, like, if you're negatively like affecting someone or, or, or their lives or whatever. Like, 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 if you wanted to walk around with your face paint on like 24/7, like I'm not gonna pass you on the street and go, ha, 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 like, like look at this fucking mime or whatever. Like, you know, I, I no, I, I say, because no, I've heard people say it, you know. Oh yeah. And um, I'm okay with it. Right, you know. Exactly. Just like when people make fun of me for being short, I'm like, well, you're fat. I can't help my condition. I'm like, I'm into that. <laughs> Gage agrees. <laughs> Do you ever listen to music on your own free time? Like my own music? Yes. Oh, all the time. Oh, you actually listen to it all the time? Yeah. You'd be surprised how many bands don't. Yeah. I'm vain. Oh, I like hearing myself. Exactly, yeah, we're all I love listening. I love hearing myself talk, don't I, guys? Yeah. We're self-centered that way. We, I like seeing myself <laughs> in the mirror, he likes hearing himself talk. It's fucking amazing. Oof. Wait, do you like staring at yourself in the mirror? Naked. Okay, see, we're on the both same page now. Except I can't sing with the shit, so fuck it. <laughs> What's your favorite song to perform live? I know that's a difficult question. <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really... I don't really... I, I, I just love performing. I, I, all of them. I'll tell you what, you are you're talking about merch that you were at. What all? What all in detail do you have? You're like, you know what prices you're gonna sell them for and everything. T-shirts are eight dollars. 
Well, the small buttons will be uh, 50 cent. <laughs> 50 cents. Sorry, I'm drinking Colt 45. Um, In a two zigzag. <laughs> the larger buttons will be either 75 cents or a dollar. Bandanas, probably nine dollars. I don't. I don't I, my merchandise is. I mean, shit. My last line of shirts. I. I think I only sold half of them because the rest of them I just gave away. That's, I don't care about making money. I really don't. That's why, like, when I have tickets, when I when I have tickets and, and shit, like, I don't sell them at. I sell them at cost. Like, on, on the ticket itself is thirteen dollars. Well, you know, I'm selling them for eleven dollars because that two that extra two dollars that I'm supposed to earn, I don't care about. I don't care about making money off my shows. I just want to perform. I just want to entertain. I just want to get in front of people and, you know. Just like, just like that, me being up on stage, you know, that's that's my break, that's my getaway. Mm -hmm. That's why people are at the shows. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that they enjoy themselves. I don't fucking care about making a buck. I'm not like a lot of the o other bands around. I don't care about making money off of people. I just want to be out there. I just want to perform. I just want to play. It's not too much to ask, is it? No, it's not too much to ask at all. I don't fucking care about the money. Round of applause, everyone. I don't care about the fucking money at all. I'm coming home. Why didn't do that? Why didn't do that? <laughs> all right. And here, everyone, that was Crisis Shop from Des Moines, Iowa. Thank you so much for thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to hear more from him, check the description below. You guys have a wonderful day. Here's Eric. And if there's anything you want to say to the viewers, say it now. Lead the chaos. Live long and prosper. Eat your vegetables. Check out my page, Facebook dot com slash racist child thing. Um or just fucking look me at Chris Castellano and you'll find it. Don't or worry. ask this guy. Me. That works too. Well like I said you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and just remember smile I'm watching. No, I won't let you